welcome to another video brought to you by AutoWave. In this video, we've got a brand new, just released X Horse solder free, or as they like to call it, welding free adapters. Um, and in this particular video, we're going to show you the Cast 3 adapter and reading a Cast 3 using the again new X Horse Mini Prog. So let's have a little look at what we've got. So we've got the Mini Prog here. Just going to take that out of the box. And obviously you would normally have one of the EEPROM heads attached. Just going to take that off and grab my other adapter out. I'm just going to leave this on the side here. So what I'm going to do is I've got a Cast 3 module. Now this being a Cast 3, obviously it's a, it's a risk to read this via OBD. So it's always better to do it on the bench, especially if it has, well, when it has had the security update. So I can just read from the mask. It says... 0L15Y. So that's the mask that we're going to read. So using the app that we get on the phone, we're going to go to IMO. We've gone to the mini prog setting IMO. I hit BMW. And then we've got the different types of CAS and the different types of masks. So this is a CAS 3 plus 0L15Y adapter. I'm just going to hit there. It has got a bit of a diagram and now let's get this uh, this new adapter out of the box and see what we're dealing with so this is the adapter inside the box you get some little screws to hold the board in place on the pcb and if we follow the little diagram on there and just see where it sits as you can see it just sits like so so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to first of all put my little screw holes in here you'll see one is slightly larger and one is slightly smaller and the two screws the, the two um, little nuts and bolts set kind of thing that you get is one is larger one is smaller I'm just going to quickly bang that on this is really straightforward as well to be honest with you it's like very very easy to do I think if it was a game a board game it would be from age eight upwards as per the diagram, I'm just going to sit this on the top. I'm going to line it up and just ensure that I get a connection and the pins drop down. Now, from my experience, I do know where, um, where the pins should sit. But once I've dropped it down, I'm just going to show you how it should be. So that's that side, and that's that side. So that's on, and as you can see, you've got two connectors on the side of this component, and you've got various pins on the board. So once I've done that, don't worry, the mini prog will go through a pin check. I'm just going to put my adapter on here, put that in. So that's in, and now with this connector, I'm just going to nicely connect it to this adapter here. Right, so now this is connected. I'm going to turn my device on. Battery is slightly low, but it's okay. I know we've got over 20% charge. So, we'll now just hit read. We're going to read the EEPROM. So, I hit start operation. And now it's connecting to the device. So it's just connected to the mini prog. It says we've got 23% charge. That's okay. It's obviously good to keep it fully charged, but we're just going to the purpose of the video. We're going to continue. And now it is connecting. So it says, please click continue or press start on the mini prog. So you have got a button here, the start button. So you can either press that or hit continue. I'm just going to hit the start button. And there we can see it tests the connection. So a few of the pins are actually not correct. And if we see on the top of the board, you see it says the RST, CLK, XCLKS, they're not right. So that's these ones here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and take this off and just do the connections again. Just 
give it another go. And there we go. So the pins are okay. It's gone, just gone straight through and it's read the file. So there we have the EEPROM file read and it's got a little date and time stamp, obviously 20th of July, 1644. So I'm going to hit okay. That is the reading complete. And now gives you a little directory of where it is. But let's go ahead and have a little look at the file and make sure that we've actually got some data. So if I go to file management, local file, mini prog, and you see here we've got today's date. And there I actually read it twice. So because I read it a little bit earlier. Look at that. And there we can have, you see, you've got data in there. It's not just full of Fs. You've actually got some data in there and that has read successfully. And that's how you would read a CAS3 using the mini prog and the solder free adapters. And that's all been done within a matter of minutes. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to our channel. All products are available from autowave.co.uk, Xsource's number one UK distributor.